instead of just being like a historical biopic, instead of just being um, a look inside the, the particulars of what happened in the 80s, the, the play actually takes the form of a text adventure. So there's a player, there's a game, and this guy, the player, is trying to navigate his way through this world where he knows that this company is doomed and his goal is to try to save it. When I was a kid, I played a ton of computer games and the Infocom games, which are text adventures, were some of the first games that I ever played. There's no graphics, you're not seeing anything on screen besides the text, so it's all about reading, imagining, and then sort of navigating your way through the world by typing commands. So I loved those games when I was a kid and um, all I knew was that the company had folded in the late 80s. So this play was sort of my chance to go inside uh, what was one of the world's first, biggest, most important computer game companies. Through the player's eyes, he, you know, he gets, has this opportunity of going back in time to try to you know, save this company. And it's these decisions that we make. Um, you never know where they're going to lead. I am a freelance theater director uh, based in Brooklyn, New York. Laura actually is what drew me to this play. I've been looking for um, an opportunity to work with her. When I knew that I was going to apply for this uh, SDC Guest Artist Initiative grant, um, I thought that this would be a really good fit. The Guest Artist Initiative is a, a way of building a bridge between professional directors and universities and university students. Um, I thought it'd be a good fit because of how Arizona State was um, presented to me, being very interested in, in the design aspect. I, I think that the designers are really on top of their stuff, they're really game, and that's been a very, you know, very good experience. And, and the actors themselves are like very open. So this is a really great experience to bring them into what that's like doing new play development. One of the great things here at ASU is that we knew we needed a big cast, and so the student environment at Arizona State University turned out to be sort of the best testing ground for the play. We knew that we needed a lot of design, um, we knew we needed really specific technical stuff, um, and we're in a big theater, and we, we've sort of gotten everything that we've needed to do this work. Here, you know, I, I, I've detected that the students are really, um, they're, they're, they're amenable to it, and they're willing to kind of throw themselves in. 